Hi and welcome to the MobiClean tutorials. Um, so first of all we're going to look at how we would uh, process a published uh, Mobiurize site. So we would have published the site to a folder. So first of all we would then select the folder where we published our site and you can use the browser there to find it. So we would go to Find it. Okay, so we're going to go to the published folder, so where we publish the files to. Um, we can add page names to the URL in engine tags, um, which will help the SEO, so we've clicked that. We've entered the URL of our um, final site uh, without a backslash, and the name of our site um, and we, if you want to disable that you can just unclick it um, and the site email address to replace any support mobilize com email addresses with we've selected that as well and we're going to change it to that okay so that's the basics now we can go to the additional options so we in this case we're going to output all, all the files and we're going to output the files to a specific folder, not just the scanned and edit ones, so it's all files. So we select the folder where we want to put them. So again, we would select that from the browser and it's going to be processed. So that's our folder. So we've now set where we want the output files to be, where the input files were on the first page. We can then, if we wish, replace any any two custom strings. Um, we're not doing that in this case because we don't want to select any. Um, but just do not enter just simply the word mobilize because if you do, that will mess up um, all the output. Um, rename the project file. So we want to rename the project file. And what it does, when we rename the project file, it will add a series of numbers on the end um, so that uh, it's not easy to find it if somebody tries to find the, move, the project file on your server. Um, then we can remove the excessive line breaks in the page code. We can elect not to show the cleaned by MobiClean comment in the top in, in the HTML. And if you don't want to show it, then you tick the box. If you do want to show it, you leave it unticked. Then we can fix alt tags. Now what that will do is that will replace any alt tags that have got MobiRise in them with whatever we put here. So MobiClean Pro Image is what we put here and that will then append a number on the end of that to make all the alt tags unique. Um, then the engine tags, we can either completely remove all engine tags that have been added by MobiRise or we can change the description um, of what's in that engine tag um, by putting something in here um, and that will then change the URL in the engine tags to your site's URL and add the text um, in, the, in the text area. Um, then if your site was all written with, with um, with non-SSL links to your pages in full, if they're full uh, URLs, you can get that to replace it with HTTPS if you've now added an SSL. Um, but in this case we don't need to do that because everything was on SSL. Then we can add a comment after the site made by um, in the top of the HTML, um, or you can choose not to add that. So now we've got the additional options set up. We can then set up the pro options. So we can add a meta tag for the author's name and you tick the box if you want to include that. The subject meta tag and the copyright meta tag. So they can be added uh, to all pages automatically. Then we can add a rating meta tag 
again ticking the boxes means it will be added if they're crossed then it won't um, and then you can select the rating meta tag as either general mature restricted 14 years or safe for kids um, and then the distribution either global or local and the revisit tag so it's telling the robots to to re um, rescrape your pages every whatever days you choose there um, and then we can also add meta tags to the, to stop the page caching by the browser so that means it will have to load the page every time it comes uh, every time it's requested rather than using the cache then you enter the mobilized version number that you published your site on um, and you can uncheck that if you wish so that it doesn't replace it um, otherwise it will replace 4.11.4 .4 with whatever you put in the bottom box and then whether you want to tidy the HTML um, or fully compact it if you put fully co if you uncheck the tidy only then it will um, fully compact the HTML if you click tidy only then it will just tidy it up um, and you can tell it to do that for HTML pages and PHP pages then there's the HTML tag option you can choose if you wish to add a LGPB uh, .me ns hash um, or whatever you require to the HTML tag and you can also add the language code to the HTML tag so you can pick from one of the languages to add to the uh, HTML tag again uh, the tick means it will do it the cross means it won't and then you've got some um, specific um, mobilized content that you can change to whatever you want so if you if it comes across mobilize website creator or web creator or builder and so on then it will replace it with whatever you put in here and you just check the box and the same with uh, the, the external engine tags the in, uh, external engine tags that uh, have the URL those have the description um, and the website builder web generator you can get that to replace them with whatever you require so we've done that there are social links if you've forgotten to update the social links on your um, site pages you can tell it to replace the defaults which are got mobilized in them with whatever you wish here and if you enable that then you can uh, enter the ones you want uh, then you've got if you're using AMP you can fix the action HXR in the AMP forms if you're using an external form instead of the mobilized one and you can just enter the name of the script to use and then click process um, and you, but first of all you need to select which page that form is on and then this one will run um, and replace any misformed script tags mobilize some of the tags are not quite formatted correctly so if you click that that will then sort them for you okay um, so then you've got the complex complex text replace so you could enter a string to replace so for example you could enter um, copyright 2018 and replace that with uh, Two thousand nineteen. So and then anywhere it finds copyright two thousand eighteen, it will replace it with copyright two thousand nineteen. Okay. So now we've made all our main setting changes which are required for the starting of the process. So we've published our file to the publish folder um, from Mobilize. So now we start the process. and you'll see the process there as it as it's happening 
and it will also tell you how many replacements it's, it's made so far. Once it's completed the process, you will see an anal analyze uh, or an a analytics button which will tell you what replacements were made. There we go. So that's made 660 replacements of mobilize and other items that we selected. So if we look at the analysis, there was 485 mobilize references replaced. Uh, we fixed the HTML tags and misformed tags, 17, and other replacements were 175 based on what we what we set. We didn't add any OG tags or Twitter tags, um, and we've re renamed the project mobilize file to project mobilize 2412, etc. Okay. Um, the OG and W tags we didn't cover just just then, but we will cover them in a little while, uh, in another um, tutorial. So once we've done the main processing, um, if you wish, you can open the folder and see the files, and that will open the processed folder. Um, if we now continue, so we want to continue the processing of our page. We want to optimize the images, so. We're going to use level 7, so we find that works the best. So we'll process the JPEG images. They will now be compacted and um, enhanced to make sure that they still maintain as much quality as possible. And there were 65 image files that were JPEGs, and they started off at 13 meg, and they're now down to 5 meg. So it saved 62.2% of their total size which will make your page load much quicker. Then we'll process the ping images and again we save 58%. What were three files at 22k are now only three files at 9k. So we've processed the images. Now we want to compact the CSS. Now the MBR additional CSS often has errors in it and that will then stop this process from working and lock up the program. So it's probably best if you exclude the Mobirize uh, MBR additional CSS from this process. So now we start the process. It's found 18 CSS files in our project. Some have been com uh, compacted, as you can see, and some were already compacted, so there's no action has been taken on those. So there's all our successful ones, and our uh, no action taken. And uh, you can see now before they were 67k, now they're nine, uh, 58k. So we've saved 13.4% um, of their file size. Oops, I just processed that again. Not to worry, it'll just take no action on anything. Okay. So um, now we come to an add a mobile mo a modal pop up. So we want to put a pop up on this site. So we're going to only show it once, in other words, that will then write a cookie, um, and then once the browser is closed that will, and reopened and come to the page, then that will appear again. But while we're still on the site, it will not appear again until we close the browser. Then play a sound when the pop-up opens, and we're going to pick one of these files here, and we're going to use that one, and what animation type we want. So we're going to slide this in from the right. So now we process that, but we forgot to select the page. So we process that, and now we can preview what that's going to look like. And as you can see, it pops in from the right and plays a little bleep, and we have our pop-up on the page. Okay, so that's processed. So now we want to add a floating social bar, which will look like that on the left. Um, so we want it on the index page, so we process that, and that's done. Very quick. Then we want to add can canonical tags to the pages. 
um, and as you can see you can add uh, that will automatically pick up the pages and their names and what the URL is however if you wanted that to be something different um, then you can either remove that from the canonicals so you just select one and then remove and that will then enter no tag there and it won't add a tag to that page or you can enter a new full URL for that page and click apply um, and if you clear the save settings then you can start all over again with a clean clean list so we'll add the tags to the pages okay so that's now been added to all our pages um, now we can remove mobilize from the link rail so in the links on the page you'll get assets web assets mobilize icons and mobilize CSS etc and what it will do is it will change that to whatever you put in here so instead of mobilize that will have your site name so that then removes mobilize from there as well so we click apply and it's processing it there we go that's done next is to remove formoid references now you only want to do this if you haven't got one of the mobilized forms on your page if you've got a mobilized form that uses formoid on your page then obviously you wouldn't use this but the problem is mobilize adds the formoid references and the css for the recapture to every page irregardless of whether you've got a for that one of their forms on there or not so we click that in this case and we've removed all the formoids um, now you've got the remove unused images so if we want to remove all the unused images you'll see first of all it'll scan through and see what use what images are being used and what aren't and in this case we've got just one that is not being used so we could remove unused images although that's a very small image so we're not going to bother with this one but we could remove that image from our output um, now we want to create the custom error pages for 400, 401, 403, 404 and 500 and that will create pages called 400 shtml and 401 shtml etc so we'll do that and it's now processing those so it's now created the pages for us and now we want to generate the sitemap and what you do on the sitemap is it will list all your pages found in your site and any that you do not want included in the sitemap you tick and it will remember those if you save the profile so you don't have to keep doing that every time so then all you do then is create the sitemap create the robots text um, and then if you wish you can create a visual sitemap page and it will list all the um, pages that are in your sitemap that are active and um, in search engines and then you give them a group so double click and this one's going to be visual sitemap and it's going to be order one so we update that and it's now gone in there as visual sitemap and you'll see the others we put these ones into pages, those ones into site documents and that one is the home group and the home group you tick and then you start the process now you can also use your uh, page within your site for this and there's instructions on how to do that in the uh, user guide so we'll start the process and now we can preview the visual sitemap and there's our visual sitemap so it's got the home and then we've got the pages and we've got the site documents and the accessibility statement and then the visual sitemap now these are all all these descriptions and page names have all been taken from the pages themselves from the title tag and the description tag and then the url is automatically added as well so everything is all done for you automatically okay so we've done that so now 
we've done everything. If you want to add snow to a page for Christmas, um, you can add snow. So like if we go to the index page and we want to process the snow, now if we preview it, you will see that page now has snow. Now the only problem is that in Microsoft Edge the, slow, the snow was a bit slow. On Firefox it's at normal speed. Okay so that's done. So now we've processed everything. So now what we would do is FTP that all up to our website and then once we get it there you will see there is our site. and it's all been processed and if we look at the HTML of that site you'll see that now everything has been tidied up it's very very neat all the way down there's no unnecessary spaces or uh, carriage returns some of our additional code we added has been added at the end um, and there is no mobilized links in that page you'll see the uh, Web assets has now been changed to Microsoft, and the same in the scripts. The formatted script is gone, and there's no references now to Mobilize, unless of course we've used Mobilize in the text, and then of course that will appear. Um, it's added the canonical tag, it's added the language tag, it's added the text, and it's added the new caching. It's added the author upright, uh, copyright subject revisit after and distribution and rating. And it's also added uh, the generator tag has now been changed to instead of Mobilize 414, it's now Microsoft Mobile Cream Pro version 1.03 beta and the URL of the site. Um, and that's it. So as you can see the everything has been done for you. It's nice and tidy and our site is now much quicker to load than it was before. Okay so check out the other tutorials when we go into a little bit more details on each of the functions. Thanks for watching and enjoy.